What's up, deep thinkers? It's Robert from Existence First. And what I want to talk to you about today is a question that came up in today's spiritual self-defense class. Now, the question that came up was, if you're transferring to a new work environment, like a new office with different people, maybe it's larger instead of smaller, and um, there may be office politics or, or all sorts of social dynamics going on, how do you adjust and not feel like you're left out or an outsider? And I have two answers for this. Number one is, let's look at it this way. If you were, if we were watching a basketball game, like an NBA professional basketball game, and the players were playing their, their, their game, and all of a sudden you step on the court and you try to play with them, there's going to be something off about that, right? You're not going to be able to keep up. They're, they're going to be playing by these rules and these gut instincts and stuff that you don't have. Right, it's just going to be a mess. Now, if another player on on their teams um, did like a substitution and came on the court and started playing, they they could actually probably keep up pretty well, right? Because they, I mean, they're a professional as well, and they know um, they know what to expect. Their gut instincts are good, and they they kind of know the pace to play at, and and they know what to expect behavior wise, everything like that. So. So that's what, what's going on. You're stepping in, by stepping into a new work environment, you're stepping into a, a new emotional ecosystem, right? A whole, uh, a whole system of emotions and social dynamics, and, and one person is the comic relief, one person is the responsible one, and then, and then they all have these positions, and their egos um, could be threatened by a new person, and all, there's all sorts of stuff going on, right? That you guys have, have to be like adaptable. Right, and that leads to the second idea. Right, the second answer to this is um, you use this mind hack or this mind trick to use a, use a hypothetical question to change your perspective. So imagine this: imagine that for the next, let's say, twenty years or so, every six months you are going to change work environments. You're going to change offices to a brand new set of people. If you were to do this every six months for the next 20 or so years, by the end of that period, you would be very good at adapting. You would be like a professional at adapting to new environments. You would be a professional chameleon, right? You would be able to walk into an environment and within seconds you would say, oh, all right, here's the old timers, the lifers who have been here for, you know, forever and you know, they'll be happy if you just bring in donuts on Friday. And, and then here, this other group, you have the... The parents, you know, that have little children at home, and, and they, they just want to be able to take care of their kids, especially if their kids are sick, and, and, and like you start to see, you, you would be able to read exactly like how to interact with each set of people. So by asking yourself this hypothetical question of, of okay, if I were to be doing this, undergoing a change every six months, you start to realize that there is this concept of adaptability being adaptive so that change in perspective is going to produce a change in your emotions and that's what we're going for here because in the end uh we're all going for real results here the uh, ultimate uh manifestation of pragmatism i guess you could say but enough with the fancy talk um bottom line is uh use these tools to tweak your emotions and get the best life possible this is robert from existence first think deeply and put your existence first.